Hey guys, Blue Command here, and welcome back to another video. So last week I showed off to you my crate side created and the potential of this ability. I'll quickly remind you if you don't know what I'm talking about. It has its own recipe, and okay, I messed that up, but as you can see, I get my crate and I can place it down. And it has its own container as you can see. So it disappears when you break it and everything. And I can put whatever I want in here. I can put a crate inside the crate. And then as you can see it all stays. And yeah, it's really cool. So in this video I'm going to show you how I created this crate. And some tips and tricks towards chests. So the way I discovered this trick is it basically uses invisible chests. Now I found this by... I really wanted to combine two chests into a double chest using commands. But as you can see, if you just set blocks on next to each other, they stay separated as you can see. So I started looking into the block data of these. What about doing I like data get block? And as you can see, a normal chest compared to a double chest has the exact same data apart from the coordinates of course, as you can see. So it obviously wasn't block data, so I was really confused what caused these to go together. And then I realized when you do slash set block, there's also these things in square brackets, as you can see. So I tested them all out, so waterlogged. That obviously just waterlogs the block, that wouldn't help us out. Facing, that could maybe have done it by doing two facings together, but that didn't work to make myself a double chest either. But then I came across this one called type. Now there's three types, left, right and single. So I was convinced this is what it was. As you can see, single works as you'd expect. And then when you combine two rights, uh, a right and a left, sorry. As you can see, it gets the block we wanted. But then when I started looking into this in more depth, I was thinking, well, what happens if I just place a right or if I just place a left? So as you can see, quite interesting things happen. So as you can see, if I go type equals right, if I place this just above here, we get a single chest on this side, on this side, we have the model of the double chest, however we can walk through it and it's not actually a block, it's just the model. And as you can see, if we test the other way around, so with left, it creates an invisible hitbox and if you open it up, it's a chest. So using this, I was thinking, well, that could be helpful surely. So I was thinking maybe we could have hidden chests using falling sands, unfortunately, if you create a falling sand, if I just place one here, you can't actually open it because it uh, has a hitbox and you can't right click through the hitbox. I mean you can hit click on this side because it's a left chest, technically it's hitboxes. Uh, if I create this for example, as you can see the chest is touching the here, uh, whereas here there's a slight gap. So that is the same with the model, so on this side you can actually open it. So you can maybe have like a one-way uh, chest opening system. Oh, the falling sand disappeared. I'll place it back. You could fix that by just doing a constant time day set on it. So maybe you could use it for that purpose. You can only click it on one side. But I just decided that wasn't what I wanted. So by doing that, I created these crates here. So the, to conclude, these basically work just of doing chest type equals and then the left chest is always the invisible chest and it doesn't have the opening animation which chests normally do which makes it even more helpful for trying to disguise a uh, chest into one block in the form of a new container so I didn't you couldn't use falling sands so to make this texture here I basically put eight armor stands next to each other so each of these you can kind of tell the separate so there's eight armor stands here, one for each of these cubes. And they're all uh, custom heads on the armor stands head. And then I position them correctly to look like this. So you could do a similar thing like that. In the description of this video, there's going to be the resources page in my website. And I'll go into a bit more depth about this kind of stuff. So that is basically the premise of this whole concept. I mean, I couldn't really think of anything for type equals right with this ghost chest but if you can think of anything with that feel free to use that as well and i just thought it was really cool so i thought i'd make a quick video to show it all off to you so if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe i'm trying to get lots of uploads out this december so yeah see you all next time bye